What's up guys, it's NBA Lou here with another banger and in today's video we will be discussing the worst contracts in the NBA today. So let's get into it. So for number one I have John Wall. Now we all remember John Wall for being this explosive player who can shoot the mid range, is a great dimer and brung excitement. Now he sits with a 4 year $171 million contract. The skill is there but the health is not. In his first two out of the three NBA seasons, he did not play more than 70 games. Let's look more into his injury history. In May 5, 2016, he, goes under, he undergoes a procedure on both of his knees. On December 29, 2018, he had pain in his left heel, decided to have surgery, and he was expected to miss six to eight months. Then in February 5, 2009, Wizards announced that Wall will have a surgery to repair his ruptured Achilles. So he's getting paid all the way to 2023 throughout despite all these injuries. So the Wizards are going to have to manage a season or two without him, making him one of the worst contracts in basketball. So for number two, Blake Griffin. Now Blake was worth a lot back then. But a 5 year $171 million contract when a dude can't stay healthy? Griffin missed his first year in the NBA. He also played 35 games in the 2015-16 season. Then in the 2016 playoffs he got injured again. In 2016-17 he only played 61 games. The following year he, he only played 58 games. Fast forward to the 2019-20 season where he now has only played 18 games and he is averaging a career low in points per game in rebounds, assists, field goal percentage, 3 point percentage and minutes. He is now untradeable at this point and is being paid until 2022 which means the Pistons will remain with the with the with the with the with the, with the, with the, with the DJ declining Blake Griffin. Now for number 3 I have Ben Simmons. Now his contract is a 5 year $170 million contract. Now don't get me wrong, Simmons can rebound, pass, defend, and he's athletic. But on, on the offensive end, he's a liability. I'm not a rap. He can only shoot 59% from the free throw line, has only made one three in his career, and this makes it tougher for his teammate Joel Embiid to operate when you have someone like Simmons, Simmons who can't shoot. Simmons has been healthy for two seasons, but he's already missed one season and has suffered a pinched nerve in his lower back so it's hard to agree with this contract but i understand why the philadelphia 76ers did it as he is a part of their future plans so for number four i have auto porter the facts are is that auto porter is injury prone especially in the last two seasons in the 2018-19 season he only played 56 games total and has a 46 percent field goal percentage only averaging 14 points now in the 2019-20 season, he only averages 11.9 points per game with 44 point uh, field goal percentage and has been limited due to foot injury that he has had. One good thing you could say about Otto Porter is that he's a great 3 point shooter, shooting 40% for his career, which is what Reggie Miller and Ray, Ray Allen have averaged in their career. But to get a 4 year $106 million contract just to be a good 3 point shooter, now that, that is why I have him on this list. Now last but not least I have Andrew Wiggins. Now Wiggins is a good defender and is pretty healthy for the most part, but he has yet to really improve in the offensive side of the game. Wiggins shoots 44% from the field and shoots 33 from the 3. And in 12 games he has played with the Warriors, he shot 67% from the free throw line and for the season 70.9% which means there are 97 players that shoot better than him which isn't very efficient but somehow he's still getting a 5 year $146 million contract showing us why he's overpaid.